everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And today, I'm doing a video using Wayne Goss's new eyeshadow palette, the Pearl Palette. And he asked me to be a model for his YouTube video yet again. And of course, I'm always excited when he asks me. So I say yes. So if you wanna see me in his video, I will have it linked down below in the description box. Thanks, Wayne. But I always want to do a video of my own featuring the looks that are featured in his videos, but I like to do the more expanded version. That way you all can see each step on how I do the looks and I can explain it more in depth to you all. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to do two looks using this eyeshadow palette. I will include swatches at the end of the video. I will have timestamps down in my description box. So I hope that you all enjoy. So here's the first look that we're doing using the Pearl Eyeshadow Palette. So let's start off with shade number three and a blending brush. And what we're gonna do is take this shade and blend it back and forth through the crease. Just like so. Next, I'm gonna take the same brush and the shade 04. Pop that right on the outer corner. I'm just going to use circular motions to deposit the majority of that color and then diffuse it up into the crease. Next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and a little bit of this shade right here. And let's just pop that right underneath the brow. And this is going to be my under brow highlight. So I'm just sweeping it and then making sure to blend it down. Let's take this same color and pop it on the inner corner. And I'm just going to tap this on and then lightly bring it over. Just like that. I'm gonna take this same shade, take it on the lower inner corner as well. Next, I'm gonna take shade number one with the same flat shader brush. Just tap that on the lid very carefully, not to cover up any of the other eyeshadows that we've already applied. So I'm just going to go in tapping motions. And you all see, this color is really opaque. I haven't dipped back in yet. It's a really nice cream shade. And I'm just gonna take that all on the lid up towards the crease. I'm just now dipping back in. Basically, I have the majority of this color applied and I'm just trying to intensify it to make sure that it's completely opaque. But I love when a cream shade is completely opaque right off the bat and it doesn't go on chalky and this one is a good one. Next, I'm gonna go back with this shade and just gently take that back through the crease just to make sure that everything is blended effortlessly. Let's go back into shade number four and take it across the rest of the lower lash line. And make sure to connect it to the top. Gorgeous. Liner and lashes time and I'll be right back. So here's the finished look using the Pearl Eyeshadow Palette. I think it's super pretty and romantic. So here's the second look that we're going to be doing. It's a little bit smokier and I am all the way into it. Let's do it. So let's start off with shade number four and a blending brush. And we're gonna take this shade in the crease. So we're going to lay the majority of the color down here. Just kind of work that in. And once you get the majority of the color laid down in the crease, then gradually start to blend that up. So now let's take the same brush and the shade number five. I'm just gonna take that right on the outer corner and then gradually work it over. Kind of tap the color on and then blend at the same time. So tap and blend. We wanna add just a little bit more smokiness to the outer corner. So that's why I'm setting this color up to give a little bit more of that definition. So now I'm gonna take a flat shader in the sparkly shade 06, and I'm gonna pop that on the lid. Just tap that on. That shade is so pretty. Looks like stars. Just take your time and build it up. I want the shade to be all across the lid, and I even wanna take it on the inner corner and sweep it over. For this shade to be as sparkly as it is, I had zero fallout using this. How amazing is that? Yas. Let's go back into number two and let's take a little bit of this shade right underneath our brows. This is just gonna lift us up a little bit. Now let me go in with a little bit more of this grayish color and I'm just gonna sweep that all across the lower lash line. Let's 
Let's dip back into shade number two for the inner corner highlight. And just pop that on, just to add a little bit more brightness on the lower inner corner. Liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. So here's the finished second look using the Pearl palette. And this look is seductive, it is romantic, it's beautiful, and you know I love a little glitter. So let's go ahead and zoom out. My eyes were so easy to complete. I love Wayne Goss's formula. I think he does eyeshadow extremely well. Everything is highly blendable. You don't have to do too much thinking about what colors go with what because all of the colors work seamlessly together and I love both of my eye looks. I think the glitter shade in here, it really pops and I'm so impressed with how this glitter shade packs so much of a punch but yet I don't have any fallout. I think it's super beautiful and sophisticated and this eyeshadow palette is so romantic. I have worked no less than a thousand weddings in my professional life and if I were still doing bridal makeup, I would 100% throw this into my kit because it's a no-brainer. All of these colors are gorgeous. It's gonna work on a variety of complexions and I love the fact that even though this palette is soft, it still has eyeshadows in here for you to deepen it up if you want to. Like you all see, you can take it a little bit smokier and I love that. I will have a link to it down in my description box for you all to shop. If you all shop through my links, I do appreciate you all because I do receive a small commission. And I wanna thank Wayne Goss again for including me on yet another campaign. I'm always blown away when he includes me. I'm like, thank you so much because he is so easy to work with and he is an incredibly sweet person, so. Let me know what you think about this palette and I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.